So what's the GOP plan, game plan going forward? Joining us now from Washington, former Minnesota Senator Norm Coleman. Senator, you listen to that sound bite of Gibbs, and it really, it sounds like he's talking about a bunch of kindergartners, a bunch of kids saying, oh, those GOPers, those guys are going to learn what it's like doing business in Washington. Weigh in on that. Well, Eric, this is the no-spin zone. Uh, that spin was the same spin that Obama, Reid Pelosi used before the November election. Republicans being the party of no. Uh, and the American public said no and backed the Republicans, saying, no, we don't want Obamacare. We don't want debt that's going through the roof. And we don't want overspending that's crippling this economy. And so in the end, whether Republic, by the way, Republicans can only stop what, what Obama is doing. He really has it in his power to determine whether the answer is a yes or a no. If he continues to move forward with big spending, with big government, with big debt, Republicans are going to say no, and they will be, have been listening to the American people. If, on the other hand, he somehow moves away from his liberal far-left base and starts uh, really acting fiscally responsible, then Republicans will say yes. They said yes to a tax cut that, that uh, made sure that no one's taxes were raised uh, in the lame duck. They said no to a trillion-dollar pork-laden omnibus bill uh, which really set the tone, set the tone for we're not going to move forward with the old way of doing business. We're going to keep lids on spending. We're going to hold Obama responsible for not busting the bank and, and not spending us further and further into debt. Now, Senator, to talk about that a little, take that one step further. I uh, said no to the big ear, uh, earmark laden uh, spending bill, said yes to tax cuts extension. Is that the Tea Party effect happening in Washington? Uh, I think it's in part the Tea Party. I really think it goes beyond a, a Tea Party. It goes beyond a. a when, the reason I say that I don't want to ascribe this to say a, a narrow group, a particular movement. Why not? I think Senator, the American, I mean, I think, because there, there have been well, uh, credit for a years party. and no, no, years think, and years of high spending Republicans yeah. as well. Why is this not a Tea Party influence? Well, because I think the Tea Party. Because I think you're 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 limiting it by just saying the Tea Party. I think the American public across the board, I think independents are the key to elections. Independents moved massively away from the Democratic Party in this last election. I think the Tea Party reflected a voice in America that said, we have had enough. I think one of the most significant things that happened this year was, was when they didn't move forward in that omnibus spending bill. McCain called it a seminal moment. So right, I don't right, want to limit sir, it. I don't sir, want to limit due, it to one group. Respect, all due respect, there was an omnibus spending bill a year ago. I think it was $450 billion some odd dollars. And, you know, the Republicans said no, no, no. But then it was signed. And they said, by the way, since we're already doing it, I'd like these earmarks for ourselves. It feels to me like this year is different. It, it is different, and I don't want to limit it to just say the Tea Party. If I say that, some folks are going to say, well, the Tea Party didn't win in this state. They, that's a narrow group. This is not a narrow movement. The Tea Party is reflecting a deep-seated concern among the American public about overspending, about debt, and the fact that this president hasn't done what he was supposed to do, which is focus on growing jobs. When you get 16 months of unemployment at above 9.5 percent, you got a problem. So yes, the Tea Party is reflecting something that I think is much deeper than a single political movement. All right, Senator, uh, Mr. Obama, after signing the tax compromise into law, he said the Republicans are going to have a fight on their hands coming up next year and the year after. What did he mean by that? Well, if he meant that he was going to keep going down the path that he was going down with, you know, government takeover of student loan programs, of health care, of General Motors, then I think he's got a problem because it tells me he's simply not listening to the American public. Uh, listen, he was dragged kicking and screaming into signing off and making sure that nobody's taxes were raised. I think that was a mistake. Bill Clinton would have had his arms around Republicans, smiling and saying, I respect my friends on the other side of the aisle. We disagree on certain things, but this is the right thing to do. So I think it was Obama just not being comfortable with doing what he had to do to make sure this economy didn't get in deeper trouble. Again, he has it within his capacity for Republicans to say yes. And, and he has that if he simply moves forward in a way that says, I, I have listened to the American public. I understand that we can't spend ourselves in, into growing jobs because it doesn't work that way. I'm going to refocus the way in which we operate government. I haven't seen any Senator, of that. I just haven't we, seen it, but, but he's got that opportunity. Before we run out of time, we only have less than a minute or so. Uh, with his move more towards the center, is there a Republican that can challenge him in 2012? And who would it be? Well, first, uh, again, I don't think he's moved yet to the center. I think he did what he had to do to save his own job, and it was the right thing to do. Uh, I think there are, listen, there are a lot of folks out there, uh, some of whom haven't even stepped forward yet. Uh, a Republican who, who is going to respond to fiscal responsibility, cut in debt, focus on growing jobs, uh, I think is going to have a good shot. As I say that, by the can way, you, can you give Obama us a name? Has the, 
Give us a name. Well, listen, they're, they're, I, you know, I don't want to give you 20 names. I could give you a Give me your best plenty, name. Who's my, I, well, I, I don't want to give a best name. I got a lot of friends. I, I got plenty. He's my governor. Newt's my friend. Oh. Mitt Romney, I know. John Thune is my colleague. Oh. There are lots of folks out there. As Hubert Humphrey once said, I got friends on one side, friends on the other, and I love my friends. So oh, we'd have to leave I think the Republican there. has a shot, but Obama still has the edge. You're going to have to leave it there. Say thank you very much to Senator. All right.